All right, so this is our movie project uh, over split for Psych 107. So some background on the character and the environment and setting in this film. Uh, this movie took place in a more modern current time, and uh, it was more of like an urban city uh, as shown in the movie. The main character, uh, Kevin Crumb, was a uh, everyday looking guy. He seemed pretty normal. Uh, you know, on the surface, but however, he suffered from a severe mental disorder due to the abuse he suffered from his mother as a child. And so this disorder that we diagnosed him with was dissociative identity disorder. Um, so this disorder is uh, characterized by some sort of like past stress or trauma that someone has experienced that kind of forced them to create this alternate personality or persona in order to cope with that trauma or stress and in this case it was Kevin's uh, trauma with his mother when he was a kid and it just kind of got worse and worse over time so that's how this uh, disorder originates uh, in the film Kevin's therapist was kind of the only person that saw his disorder as like a real issue and she was the only one that was shown that would actually talk to him and try and help him and on all of his different personalities. She tried to help each one of them, you know, whatever they needed. And, uh, cultures that would be more accepting of this mental illness, kind of like, I guess today, modern times, uh, would be more willing to diagnose and treat this disorder. Unlike others that would kind of see it as a farce. And there's so many people in our culture today that don't believe that this disorder is something that people truly suffer from. And many don't think it's a real disorder. And that was shown in the movie as well. Uh, Kevin went to many doctors that he talked about and how they all just discredited him. And also his therapist did the same thing with her colleagues. And they also just discredited her, you know, concern and the story she would tell them about Kevin's disorder. So some evidence in the film, um, <clears throat> symptoms of uh, dissociative identity disorder are amnesia, detachment from yourself and emotions, a uh, confused sense of who you are, your identity, and at least two or more distinct personalities. Uh, two main symptoms displayed by Kevin, the character in the movie, were memory loss, and he definitely had at least two or more distinct personalities, and he actually had 24 distinct personalities. Um, towards the end of the film, he, uh, Kevin, who the man truly like was, like his legal identity, I guess you could say, uh, kind of came back conscious and had no recollection of like the past year. And uh, so that was an example of his memory loss, and the 24 distinct personalities were just basically who was... Um, I guess they were the main characters in the film. So they were just kind of scattered all throughout. And a symptom uh, he did not show in the film. Uh, he did not show any signs of depression or suicidal thoughts or behaviors, uh, which is another symptom of dissociative identity disorder, but he had uh, no signs of uh, depression or suicidal thoughts. So um, for this disorder, treatment wise there's not really any medicinal treatment at all however the best and most effective treatment is psychotherapy or just kind of going to talk with someone whether that be a therapist or a psychiatrist and this kind of helps that individual cope with their issues and get to the root of this uh, associative identity disorder and what caused it and uh, just to kind of finish up, um, some broader perspectives on this disorder. Uh, people with this disorder are generally no more violent or than the usual population, uh, and that wasn't really the case in the movie. They kind of made him, made Kevin out to be more violent and uh, prone to doing illegal activities with all of his different personalities. And also switching between states does not occur nearly as frequently as it was as it uh, happened in the film in the film he would just kind of come back and forth uh, no control over like when and where and who you know kind of took the spotlight 
but this really isn't the case. And due to the way it was portrayed in the, it, or due to the way that this disorder is kind of portrayed and the stigma behind it, uh, it's kind of misunderstood that individuals with this disorder are kind of viewed as like, you know, scary or creepy. And it's really not the case at all. Um, and also, a, kind of an embellishment, I guess, for the film, they usually people with this disorder don't have 24 separate identities. And, uh, but again, I feel like this was just embellishment for the film. So, 